I'm here at the plot today and look at this most of the ranunculus is open so they have beautiful nice tall stems but most of them are blowing open as sort of single flowers they're not as beautiful and double as they were last year we just had a lot of rain today today is the full moon the flower moon and I rushed in here to see if they were okay after all of the rain I was afraid they'll be all tipped over but they're all standing tall and beautiful the petals are still a little wet which is nice and I really love this color over here the salmon ones they were mostly double for me last year some of them are still coming double but most of them are open up like this so I am not sure if I'm going to harvest them to put them to bring them in I might just leave it in here to add beauty they have tons of little flower buds still so I'll see I might leave them for a couple days and then see if I'll take some more home I already took a few and made a little bouquet but today they just all blew open at once which is really cool we also have lots of catching up to do I want to let you guys know that I have planted some other stuff here at the plot I came here a few days ago when it's still a little cool in the morning it's been pretty hot now and I planted some sunflowers near the arches in the bed and then on the other bed towards the end of the plot on the right side I planted some straw flowers that my friend Linda from the garden club gave it to me she had started some extras and I took it and then I also put some basil some gonfrina and my friend Aubrey and I have been also working at the new plot so let me just catch you guys up on everything that i have done that so far so you see me weeding the sides of it there right now i did that as soon as we got the space and then we also tried to put this landscape fabric on the middle of it just as an experiment to see if it would be able to suppress the weeds but we only had enough to cover that part and then Aubrey came and bought some very nice clover from her work she works at a nursery and also at a landscape company that does native gardens so she was able to get there for us and then you see her taking the plastic off now and we saw that it didn't really work with the weeding they didn't really kill the weeds because some light was still going through so we decided to just go ahead and weed by hand before we added the clover as a sort of cover crop we didn't really grow there in there but we just wanted to add as manure as green manure as some extra organic matter to feed the soil because the soil has kind of been neglected for the past few years so we weeded all of the middle of it then covered it up with the clover to act as extra food and we also decided to add some compost we didn't have much at that time to help boost in the life in the soil and we after covered it all up with cardboard which did not get a camera because my camera died before we finished we are getting a soil test yes we have already took the sample for the plot here and for the new spot so we're doing with cornell and we also were able to get tons of compost. I got so much compost from the New York City Give Back Compost Program. I finally was able to sign up for a slot. Every time I tried to do it, it was full, it was sold out. So I did it this time and I got there by the end of the day and they let me take lots of bags, uh, all the leftovers that people didn't go there and pick it up. So lots of good news for this week. The compost bags are all in my backyard. I'm planning to put them on the new space this weekend i'm gonna do some work at the plot here with aubrey and i want to show you guys real quick just the progress in the tomatoes i'm planning to film a garden tour soon i just wanted to be here now when this was happening because i'm not sure how long this one because i'm gonna do well but i am going to probably film one for next week i am not doing weekly garden tours anymore it's going to be a little hard for me especially with the new space and all of the new stuff that i'm going to be taking care of but I'm going to do once a month so next week I'll try to post a May garden tour and you can see how everything is looking but I am so happy with this bed over here I love sitting behind it and just pretending I'm in a white flower meadow or something even though those, those are fancy vernaculars but because they are opening single like this it kind of have a to me has like a bit of a wild flower feel to it all right so let's just take a look at these tomatoes here real quick you guys are not gonna believe how much they have grown already look at this I think the last update that I showed was when I was planting them when they were tiny now they are already ready to start being pruned and I definitely have to find some time to come stake them I want to run the strings through here and then kind of get them propped up trellised up that way because they are all indeterminate in here and they tend to grow really tall and every time I don't have 
tall enough of trellises and they just ended up like falling and being all over the place later in the season so this year I'm gonna try to do it in a different way trying to do it right I guess and look at these other guys these beds they, got, they look like they're even bigger well the rain kind of knocked this one off a little bit let me just try to put it back on but yeah we have to come here I'm gonna prune the suckers this guy's right here and the lower leaves do some of the pruning look at this this guy got knocked down by the rain now so I really need to get that done I'm gonna try to get it done this weekend too I'm gonna trailers them and then I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the plot on the next garden tour so the videos don't get too repetitive I can't get over how nice the ranunculus look I love it I love having them planted in mass like this obviously you know the plot looks a little you know with this white big pipe over here and the wall over there it doesn't look as nice but I still like the way the flowers look and I am excited that at least they got a little bit tall they're not as double but some of them I think are going to be double this guy is looking like it's going to give us some good amount of petals this is the orange one so I saved most of the squirms and I don't remember all the varieties I didn't label them so it's just a mix now it's a ridiculous mix also yeah the orange one this guy seemed that you know they're gonna be okay hopefully they will give some nice beautiful flowers like you guys saw last year this one seem like it's going to be double too but look they're from the same variety and this is blooming completely open it almost looks like an anemone doesn't it it's kind of crazy I love it I like, really like this color over here it's very pretty but I'm super excited about this guys let me get a little farther so you guys can see how it looks with the arches this side of the garden that was looks much better in my opinion it's really hard to capture the real beauty that I am seeing here but it is what it is this is where I can show you guys I wish you guys could all come over and take a walk in the garden with me to see how it really feels like in here and looks like and this fever feel in here is all about to bloom there's some bad news about it too. I saw some lantern flies on it, but also I'm just seeing some ladybug larvae in here, which is a good sign. So we'll see what's gonna happen with them. But mostly they're looking okay. I'd love to harvest those when they bloom, but I hope that they are blooming too by next week when I try to film more of a formal garden tour. I'm gonna run to my backyard now and show you guys all the compost that I got. And also I want to talk a little bit about the plans for our new space and what we're going to be growing there. All right, so here is all the compost that we got. It's a lot, I know, but I think it's gonna be definitely more than enough to be able to cover that space and make it look very nice so you can have a nice season this year. And also we got uh, some spent mushroom blocks in here that we also are going to add in there, break it up and add together with the compost. And we possibly might even add mulch. We are waiting to see if she will be able to get some for us for free and here is the backyard looking nice I wanted to show you guys the zinnias over here so these are the ones that we started together and I said I was going to plant at that space and they are doing well I have already started acclimating them that's why they're outside here I need to put them back as soon as I finish filming this video but just a little update on the plants for that space so we're going to be growing flowers mostly zinnias at this point because zinnias are easy to grow and we want to add a lot of color and beauty to that space over there that has been kind of neglected for the past few years and we have these ones here that i started with you guys on uh, that previous video but aubrey also started some zinnias at her place and also some celosia and some amaranth so it should look nice and pretty we're also thinking to maybe plant some basil in there and i found some snapdragon seedlings all over my bed over there and I rescued them let me show you guys so I took them out of the beds over there and put them in the seedling tray so I might even we might add that in there as well on a shady area because there's a big tree over there also and we want to put some stuff in there that might be a little somewhat shade tolerant so that's kind of the plan we are going to be doing some work there on Saturday we are going to hopefully add all of this compost that you see in here and we're not going to plant it right away I believe these guys still need to acclimate for a little longer at least mine over here for a few more days so I might plant that a couple days after we do the setting up day over there 
We are going to be doing some work at the plot as well, the regular plot, the first one. I am going to be doing some weeding. Hopefully I can get all the tomatoes trellised before Saturday, before Aubrey gets in here. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to be focusing and doing a lot of this, you know, tidying up work and making things look nice. And I really want to get this planted, hopefully, by the end of this month. I don't want to wait too long because it's already a little late, you know, to start things and flowers and we wanted to make that place look beautiful as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.